So I am back once again with my car modeling tool that I made up here and uh, the way it would work is that you would go into tools vehicle manager and then you would model your wheels with this but after receiving a lot of hate in my comments I am going to do a very detailed video that shows you how you can implement it so I'll just close this project right now and I will create a brand new project just to show you how you can actually implement it. So open your Unity Hub and then create a new project. I'm using the version 2020.3 because this is the LTS version. Create a new game. Don't forget to use the universal render pipeline. Name it whatever you want. Okay, so this is our brand new project over into unity as we can see over here so if we take a look at our components up here we can see that we have no tools up here and that is because we have not imported our editor script yet so down in the description you are going to find this zip file that contains a editor and vehicle folder so what you're going to do is go over to your assets right click and do show in explorer this is what you should get over into your file explorer so double click into your assets and then just simply drag and drop these over into your assets now you're done with these two windows so you can just close them and go back into unity if you've done everything correctly you should be able to navigate through your screens without showing any errors over into your console another thing that you're going to be able to see over into your components is a tools up here so click that and open up your vehicle manager now this is the vehicle manager the way this vehicle manager works is that you first need to fetch it a wheel object and to do that you are going to have to bring in your favorite model over into your scene so for now i will just be bringing this car right here there we have it and now let's get into creating our car so first thing that we need over here is a wheel reference now the way the wheel reference works is that it has to be a prefab object instead in order for this engine right here to duplicate the wheels into four locations so what we're going to do is navigate into our wheel make sure that we unpack this so take the wheel outside of this object make sure to position this over to zero and then make sure that we have a empty game object and we just pass this wheel over into the game object so all we did right now is create a object and then inside the object we have this wheel as we can see the object is not positioned at zero so we're going to position this one at zero as, as well so what we should end up with is a game object that is positioned at position zero and then a child object that is also positioned at zero after you do that you can just bump the scale over to 100 and now we have a normal sized car wheel as we can see in here after you do that just take this maybe you want to rename it as wheel and then make this a prefab so the way you make it a prefab is by simply dragging it dropping it inside your asset now we have a wheel reference so we can just go ahead and delete it from here and now we are good for the body of our car we just want to do the exact same thing so we want to create an empty game object we want to make sure that the position is zero and then we just want to take the chassis and make it a child object so now we can just name this like yesco for example and now we have a car so the next step is to drag the wheel drop it into this element right here okay so after having dropped your wheel object over into your wheel references what we're going to do is take this root game object of our car and then simply drop it into the vehicle object now notice that we have no camera object over in our scene as we can see in here we have no camera object and that is not a problem because as soon as we drop this game object over here we're going to automatically create a new camera However, if we already have a camera and then we simply drag our car object over in here, that is not going to change this camera object because this camera contains a camera component right here. So 
After that, it automatically creates a camera controller in here and it automatically passes in these values. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so now if we press the simulate camera button, we're going to see that it is simulating into the wrong direction, as we can see in here. So that is easily fixed by just rotating the car over into 90 degrees. Now remember to rotate the child object, not the root object. So after we do that, we can hit this create colliders and that just created us four colliders. After that, we can create the wheels and now we have four wheels, each facing the right direction up. So all that's left for us to do is to just place them where we want them like this. And there we have it. We have all of our four wheels, each aligned perfectly fine. So uh, we're almost done with our game. We can just go ahead and keep on simulating the camera positions. And the way you change the camera target position is by just taking this focus point, putting it somewhere into the front of the car. And now we have a somewhat better looking driving position. So now what we can do is close this tab and then just create a terrain. So before we go ahead and play the game, we want to make sure that we either disable the engine audio or we pass in all these values. So for now, I'll just disable it and we can just go ahead and hit play. Now, if we hit play and try to drive our car, it is obviously not going to work. And the reason for that is because our car has no torque curve or engine power. So what you're going to do is create a new key. And for the time zero, we want the value to be 150. And the second frame, we want the time to be at 8000 RPMs. And the value we want to be like 250 horsepower. So now this is our torque curve. Now if we go ahead and maybe we want to change the drive type to all wheel drive. And we want to make it, make it automatic. So now if we go ahead and play the game, we're going to see that our car is actually spinning the wheels, but the car is in the air. The reason for that is because we did not change our collision. So since our since my engine script right here did not detect any collision into the car body, it has automatically created a temporary cube right here and it has named it body collider. So I'm just going to flatten this like this and I'm just going to make sure that the center of mass is actually into the center of the car. So now if we go ahead and try to play the game, we're going to see our car is driving kind of funky. As we can see, that is because this center of mass is not properly aligned. Now this center of mass should not be below the car wheels, so it should be somewhere up here. Okay, so after having moved your center of mass into your desired position, this is what you should end up with. You should end up with a very nice and driving position. So that is all I have prepared for this video. I hope that you have nothing to complain about now because you have seen every single part of this script working. And uh, I'll see you in the next videos.